overcome Tron with Dredge, a deck that he is very, uh, very comfortable with. Be a gemstone mine to start here for Tamiko. He's got the old tree corn. Doo -doo. Now this is a matchup that I've heard Tron is happy with. Um, so you have main deck relic. Mm -hmm. Worm coil is very good against them, mm -hmm. and some of your big plays are pretty good too. Mm -hmm. Dredge is really explosive. There's a lot of pressure on you to have natural Tron because. You don't want to play a ton of turns against this deck, but Relic can buy you a lot of time, and they don't interact with your lands, and uh, many of your big plays are really good. Well, there's a Conflagrate. Pass the turn back. Conflagrate will get exiled by the Relic. Here's a Tower of Power. That's a Chromatic Sphere. There goes a Faithless Looting. Pass the turn back. Dredge the Stinkweed in. Two, three, four. Five, Stinkweed Imp, Faithless Looting, Cathartic Reunion, Life from the Loam, and a Stomping Grounds are the cards we see there. I'm curious how Tomiko's going to work himself through this Relic of Progenitus. I have to have him, I have to imagine he's got experience doing so. He's 10-3 and three with Dredge. I know he's very passionate about this deck and has been playing it a lot. Posted on Twitter a sideboarding guide and the deck list he would play. He's a very smart kid at a young age, so he's going to Dredge Loam here. Creeping Chill among these cards. Creeping Chill is going to resolve, so Tomiko's going to gain three. Rollock will lose three. Yeah, Rollock here under no pressure to use the Relic. Uh, Tomiko would have to present an, at least one creature through this dredging uh, to make that a concern. And dredge the Loam, get those lands back via the dredging of the Loam. So Tomiko's looking to play maybe a little bit more of a normalized game as here's a Shriekhorn activation. Prized Amalgam and Shriekhorn are placed into the graveyard. This is a Copper Line Gorge. Pass the turn back, so we'll go back over to Relic, who still hasn't busted the Relic yet. I don't think there's much of a reason for him to, as Patrick didn't mention. This is a Sanctum of Ugin. So Relic is missing green mana and one of the Tron pieces. There goes the Shriekhorn. We head back over to Oliver Tomiko. Tomiko will dredge Stinkweed him. Shriekhorn, Cathartic Reunion, Life in the Loam, Narc Amoeba, and... A Bloodstain Mire. So Narcomiba plus Price Amalgam could be enough for Rollick to make a move here, but it looks like he's going to hang tight. Narcomiba is hanging out in the graveyard for now. There's a trigger, and we might see Rollick finally blow this relic, or Tomiko target himself with Shriekhorn in response to the trigger. That's kind of where we are in this mini delay. All right. Narcomiba's back. That was going to be a mountain. Looks like Michael may have changed his mind. Well, there, you know, you may want to consider uh, doing any sort of mill first before playing your land because you can mill over a blood ghast. I'm going to flash back a faithless looting. Yeah. Draw two. And Stinkweed this might be headed to the graveyard. It's actually going to be a Stinkweed and a Stomping Ground that will be placed in the graveyard here. Let's get Prize Amalgam back. And now Rolex says, I will bust the Relic entirely. Remove our graveyards, draw a card, play a Chromatic Star now. Crack the Star for a green. Sylvan's Scrying, finally. So there's a Scrying. I'm going to go get that missing piece of the Tron. Can't feel comfortable here if you're Tomiko. Rolex here at 17. Tron assembled. No pressure on the battlefield for Tomiko. And now there's a walking ballista for two. So Shriekhorn's going to go toot tootin'. I'm going to put a Shriekhorn and an Arid Mesa into the graveyard and now draw a card with Tomiko. And now that he's worked through that relic, I'm curious to see the fireworks that could take place here. This is a Stinkweed. That is not the fireworks I was expecting. Uh, at, at all. <laughs> it's a different sort of fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here's a Worm Coil Engine. That is a Worm Coil Engine. We might be heading to a second game here in just a moment, and we are. As Tim Rollick able to win game number one here over Oliver Tomiko, Mono Green Trot up yeah, a game a, over Dredge. A, a tire fire. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one of the dumpster variety. Yeah, dumpster yes. fire, yeah. 
tough to get excited about a 1-2 flyer in old Stinky Winky, I would say. But that's where we were on that particular day. Michael got to do some sideboarding here. Rollick will do the same. We will start with Oliver. Actually, we'll start with uh, Tim Rollick, who's up a game. He's got two Thought Not Sears, three Thrag Tusk, two Dismember, four Nature's Claims, two Spatial Contortions, and two Surgical Extractions. I think Extractions are the easiest ones to bring in. I'm not sure you want much past that, honestly. I, I like the Thrag Tusks. Yeah? I, I, I like gaining, uh, gaining life and blocking that much is good against Dredge. It's not quite the same as Worm Coil Engine, but yeah, I, I think it's still well above the line against them. It is not as good as Worm Coil Engine. That is true, but few things are, as we saw in that last game. So I think this might be a reasonable way to go. As far as Tomiko's sideboard is concerned, as these players shuffle up and get ready for game number two, three Leyline of the Void, two Ancient Grudge, an Assassin's Trophy, along with three Lightning Axe, four Nature's Claim, and two Stain the Mind. Uh, the Assassin's Trophy seems good here. Um, Ancient Grudge is low cost. There's some targets. Um, probably don't want to go as deep as Nature's Claim because... Um, hard to imagine that Tron has something like Leyline of the Void in their sideboard, but like the trophy, like the grudges. Well, those are the options there for both players. And game number three will be under. Or excuse me, game number two will be underway. Oliver trying to force a game number three here in just a moment. That first game did not really go according to plan. Wasn't really able to play through Relic all that well, so. Well, he just, uh, his dredges weren't good at all early on. It took him way too long to force the action. And even when Tomiko was able to force the action, it was in a pretty innocuous spot. We were just talking about a copy of Prize to Malcolm. And then the Shriekhorn failed to flip over a dredger, so at that point he was just taking natural draw steps. So Tomiko's draw uh, was definitely complicated by the relic, but not at all assisted by the fact that his dredges were so modest. We will prepare here for game number two, as it looks like Rollick will take a mulligan. Remember, after this game is done, we're going to do a preview card here from War of the Spark. And you know what? If you if you at home want to hear Patrick and I talk about a particular preview card, let us know. Tweet at me. Use that hashtag SCGCLE, at Cedric A. Phillips on Twitter. We'll cover one for you guys before Jerry T and Brian G come back in the booth here for round number 15 to close out our Swiss rounds as we get ready here for the elimination round. 760 showed up to Cleveland. Only eight will be in the elimination rounds, and only one will be champion here in the land. It'll be a blood ghast and a prize amalgam that'll be placed in the graveyard off of the very powerful faithless suiting. Chromatic Sphere is where Tim will start his game off of an Urza's power plant. This is a Shriekhorn here for Oliver. He will mill two. Arid Mesa and Gemstone Mine, but no mm. land to get back those creatures. So now the Chromatic Sphere will be cashed in for some green mana. I was going to say, Tomiko with the Ancient Grudge in hand, and I just I was, I was surprised I would have just gone land, Grudge, or Sphere, get my stuff back, but that would explain it. And Urza's Mine into a Chromatic Star into nothing doing. Now, it'll be a Faithless Looting here for Oliver. He'll draw two more cards. He'll have to discard two cards, and I'm not sure he's found a land yet for the Bloodgast to get back the Amalgam. And he has not, so now we go back over to Tim Rollick. I don't know if he's got the Tower of Power or not. It appears as though the answer is no. There's a Relic of Progenitus, though, and that might cause some headaches here for Oliver, whose draws have just not come together here in this match. Yeah, it's really rough for Tomiko here to, he can't even force the issue on the Relic right now because he's, he has to take natural draw steps to try to find land number two. And if he does it and he triggers landfall off the blood gas, at that point Rollick can just go ahead and take care of um, the entire graveyard. Let me another Shriekhorn here for Oliver as we head back over to Tim. That is an expedition map. That means the Tower of Power is on the way, unless, of course, Tim would like to grab a forest for some reason, which I suppose isn't out of the question. But it is going to be the Tower of Power. So the Tron is online for Tim, whose top eight dreams are very much alive here if things keep going this way. We'll head over to Tomiko. This will be a Relic of Progenitus activation. It will exile all the graveyards. Tim will draw a brand new card. you got to be feeling pretty good about things if you are Tim. Your opponent has no graveyard, nothing really going on, and you've got access to 
nine mana at the very least next turn, and probably more than that as Dark Blast and Blood Gas will go into the graveyard from the first Shriek Horn activation. Steam Vents and Arid Mesa from the other. A Blood Crypt will enter the battlefield untapped here for Tomiko, and does he perhaps have Cathartic Reunion to really get something rolling here? The answer is yes. Life from the Loam and Conflagrate will be placed in the graveyard as part of the casting of that Cathartic Reunion. Now we'll dredge three from the Loam. Now we'll dredge three from the Dark Blast. Prize Amalgam in there. And now the Loam will dredge three. It'll be a Narc Amoeba, Faithless Suiting, and a Life from the Loam. I mean, that's some stuff. But, uh, again, it's just taken Tomiko so long to get any footing in this game. And uh, Rollick now has Tron online. So if he's got any big payoffs, Tomiko's at the mercy of him. Well, and you see Rollick has quite a few cards in hand. And if you wanted a big payoff, you got it. The lands are gone Ulamog, the ceaseless hunger, is here. Dredging a loam is somewhat humorous now, looking to get back some lands that you can't get back. And Tim Rollick is going to win this match here quite easily. Over